Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And today I have a pretty interesting video for you guys. So uh, obviously it's not a shoe, but it is an insole. And insoles you don't really think are important, but uh, if you want like a very nice step in comfort, they can do a lot, you know, especially if you're just walking around and you're on your feet all day. So this company sent, sent me out these Boost insoles and uh, they're not calling it Boost, but it basically is Boost. If you guys didn't know, Adidas doesn't own the actual cushion, you know, uh, it, it's developed by this company. I forgot what they're called, but it's, it's developed by this chemical company. And I don't think they ever had exclusive rights to it or anything, but like, yeah, <laughs> this is basically Boost. And if you feel it, and uh, look at it, it looks very similar. The texture is really, really similar. But I'm sure this company, uh, sorry if I mispronounce it, Hefe, Hefe Lux, Heath Lux, I don't know. But I'm sure they, they have their own take on it, you know, their different blend of stuff. They're calling it an ETPU. And also it came with these little boost pellets and so cool, it's like really soft. You can squish it and stuff. They should make like a stress ball or something. I don't know, that'd be kind of cool. But anyways, it comes in this, which is kind of cool. You know, it's very simple, you get it. And then there's two types. So there's the regular insole, which uh, basically is kind of the same thickness as your regular insole. And uh, if you're gonna use it, you know, you just take out your the insole inside your shoe already and then put this in, right? So this is a, the regular thickness, this is 23 bucks. You know, a pretty good price, you know, for just some insoles. And then they have a, a crazy, crazy thick one. This is literally like, I, I, like an inch thick here in the heel and probably like a half an inch in the forefoot, which is, this is a thick boy, guys. This is a thick boy. And uh, this one's going for 32 bucks. It has 30% more boost or these uh, ETPU pellets than in the regular one. And obviously, since it is thicker, um, it won't work for, you know, like if your shoe is already a really good fit for you, and then even if you take out the insole that's already in the shoe, the, the fit is already gonna be pretty damn tight. So this will probably work if maybe you have a shoe that's a little big on you, or if you have like a boot or something that's like big or very loose in the toe area, because this, this boy is pretty damn thick. Uh, this thin one, I didn't really have any issues. The fit did feel a little bit tighter than just in my regular insoles, but not by too much. So I think most people will be fine, you know, just replacing the insole in the regular shoes. But like, for example, this insole in the uh, Ultra Boost or like most Adidas shoes, is really really thin so if you replace this with this then uh, it'll it'll be a little too tight i tried it with my ultra boost it's a little too tight so you just gotta make sure what shoe you put it in and make sure the fit is uh correct uh when you get this uh it comes with a size 13 right so this is a size 13 but if you look on the bottom of it so you can cut the actual insole to to your size so I, I would suggest cutting it a little bit bigger so if you're a size like 10 or 11 i'll probably try cutting a little bit more than that because if you cut it too short, then you can't really fix it. But if you cut it a little long, then you can always adjust it to your actual shoe. And then here on the actual insole, there's a nice little texture on it. It's soft, but it grips your sock really well. And there are some holes here for ventilation. And then yeah, guys, like your foot is practically right on top of Boost and it feels really nice. Even this really thin one, you wouldn't really think this does much, but it kind of does, right? So I can feel the boost kind of like spreading out underneath my foot and it feels really comfortable. And it's definitely way better than just your stock insoles that you get in like any any type of shoe, like a Nike shoe or whatever. And you do feel a little, very, very slight compression and very, very slight bounce, but you know, it's better than nothing. And you guys already know, I hate wearing Jordan 1s or Vans for that reason, because they're just so uncomfortable. You put this insole in and it makes it like, like actually wearable for me. So <laughs> I've been putting it in like, you know, I put in these and these uh, actually are very comfortable, you know, and I put the, the, the thinner one in. The thicker one, I couldn't really find the shoe to put in because this heel is very thick and you know, it, it raises your heel up a little bit and the, the fit is just a little too tight in like uh, most of the shoes that I've tried. So uh, I haven't really found a shoe to use this thick one in, but like if you have, like I said, if you have like a boot or a, a big fitting shoe, then you can definitely use this. But yes, uh, someone finally made one and I'm super happy because you guys already know I love Boost. Now someone just has to make a Zoom one. <laughs> That'd be really, really, or imagine Zoom underneath this. That would be really, really cool. But um, yeah, shout out to shout out to Hefe Lux for uh, sending these out. If you guys want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But it's 100% recommended just for everyday casual use. And I even tried balling in it and it does help the comfort uh, a lot. So yeah, this is Soul Brothers approved 
incredible insole. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next one.